And uh, the next talk will be given by Professor Vladimir Anatolyevich Polanski, Director of the Institute for Problems in Mechanical Engineering. Dear, <coughs> dear colleagues, I would like to say uh, many thanks to the organizers for such, for such a beautiful conference. And um, my report, it is about the problems. Mm, when I prepare my presentation, I think why, why the conference named the APM, it is the problems of mechanics and my institute in which I work. <laughs> Uh, in which I work also named uh, the four problems in mechanical engineering. But if some problems is solved, there are no problems. So if, if, if I would like to tell about some solution of the problem, it is the mm, conference A known problems <laughs> advanced. And uh, now I would like to tell you about I think very important problems that not solve it. And I don't know as we can solve these problems in fundamental, in, in, basis, in basis of fundamental science. And these problems, it is the skin effects and boundary layer in solid. You know very well uh, the boundary layer uh, in, in gas and in, in liquid. There are, s there are fundamental theory, many approaches to solution the problems with this boundary layer. But there are no, there are no fundamental approaches to solving the problems of boundary layer, uh, <coughs> boundary layer in, in solid. And uh, the first, the first of uh, my presentation, it is the actuality. <coughs> Here you can see the uh, some mm, some fresh example, only fresh example from our country, the <coughs> destruction of bridges, and uh, here you can see the also only fresh example the destruction uh, uh, and explosion of gas pipeline, and it is the. It is the very great problem because <coughs> the pipeline, uh, the pipeline net, uh, grows and grows, and th such <coughs> incident uh, more um, more <coughs> has more and more frequency and more and more problem. Here, here you can see also the uh, very actual problem with weld and weld metal and cracking of the pipeline. And uh, this is also mm, very, very hard problem. For example, now uh, the cracking of weld metal, it is the uh, problem for uh, new, new energetic, green energetic, because Many weld metal in, um, for example, a wind uh, turbine installation and uh, cracking of this weld, it is the really construction problem for such system. And uh, also very, uh, very important and very actual problem, it is the uh, gas turbine engine blade cracking. Also, um, very important and uh, what what the what the uh, united phenomena of this all this incident it is the surface nature of um, of incident what is surface nature for example uh, during we can um, see to the uh, gas turbine blade uh, it contact with plasma from the surface, and uh, it is well known that uh, product the thin layer with m so micro cracking, 
and after that the blade destruct. For example, if we mm, see to pipeline, also uh, the gaze and uh, some some agents uh, of the uh, nature gaze um, make make surface uh, surface damages, and after that we can see the explosion of the uh, gas pipeline. So in world, and um, we have more, uh, more, more any example that uh, also correspond to surface effect. And the another, another very important uh, for, for science and for engineering problem, it is uh, non predictability of uh, such incident and uh, we cannot calculate the resource of exploitation for example pipeline or resource of exploitation for the for example gas turbine we we can solve some uh, mechanical task for example the task uh, of destruction with cracks the task of destruction uh, um, um, due to higher stresses and so on. But, but if we solve this task, we must make some fitting experiment and many, many often more fitting experiment. And during this fitting, we can fit the parameters of mechanical models. And very often this parameter, non-physical, for example, during destruction, we can measure the bound energy of atoms in the lattice, and this measurement gives us the values that in uh, 1540, in the 1540 times uh, low, that real bound energy in the lattice. So, we have we have many approximation approaches to the solving of this problem but we cannot fundamental approaches and i think this is why we we cannot or we uh, don't want to see the on the um, on the volume in the solid body we small we small volume for example it is the surface layer and uh, we must we must we must ask why surface effect? Here you can see very interesting example. It is the ultrasonic uh, uh, impact treatment or short pinning, and uh, this short pinning make uh, make uh, weld metal uh, more stretch. In in what time? In two four time. And here you can see here you can see that that. Treatment well, the treaty, treatment surf surface. Oh, excuse me. Treatment surface very small. It is the, it is the uh, steps of treatment with such such small device. Mm, the powerful of this device only, for example, 400 watts. And after treatment, such small surface, we increase for example the um, time of operation such weld uh, seal in four time and it is the very interesting result uh, the same the same results during the interaction the metals with uh, aggressive environment and aggressive aggressive uh, with hydrogen or with electrolyte and here we also we also determine some skin effect. We uh, damage only only very thin layer of the of the simple, but simple really uh, decrease its mechanical properties, and uh, this uh, maybe in two time in two time. Here you can see also very interesting experiment. Uh, we 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 treat we treat the surface uh, by uh, ultrasonic short pinning, and after that we measure the hydrogen concentration. Before treatment we have great hydrogen concentration there, 
uh, square under this curve, it is the proportion of the concentration of hydrogen. And after treatment, in four times uh, smaller, in, f in the four times smaller. So the um, surface effect may be used, may be used in engineering application in industry for uh, very effective um, increase in the mechanical property. For example, for example, we can excuse me. Uh, for example, we can we can comparise uh, the uh, degasation degasation effect of surface treatment. Uh, for the gasation of metal, we need in such furnace, and uh, it's powerful, approximately one two kilowatt, and treatment time it is one two hour. But uh, if we treat, uh, if we uh, make surface treatment, it is it is uh, four hundred watt, and maybe minutes minutes of treatment. It is it is also very interesting result. And uh, during the plastic deformation, uh, the format also formed the very thin, very thin uh, surface layer. Uh, and properties, all the simples, are determined mechanical properties, are determined the properties by the properties of this surface layer. For example, in this, in this layer, we can see the uh, hydrogen accumulation, the hydrogen from atmosphere. In this layer, we can see residual stress accumulation. And in, in this thin layer, we can see also damage accumulation that lead to acoustic anisotropy uh, changing, uh, acoustic anisotropy signal change. So uh, we have, uh, we have in, in Russian, we have such book that we s will publish it, uh, that was published it in, 19, in uh, 1983. And in this book, I, I find uh, approximately 700, 700 sources, uh, 700 papers in which describe the influence of the seen surface layer to mechanical properties of metal. And in, in each time, it is the layer with thickness uh, from 30 to 100 micrometers. During plastic deformation, during the contact with environment, uh, form the very thin surface layer uh <coughs> that in, in many cases can determine the mechanical properties, massive, massive and volume uh, metal simple. And uh, we, can, we, can ask, we can ask what the possible powerful or what, what uh, magnitude of, of such influence. It is, it is the very interesting example. You can see, you can see, uh, you can see uh, very well known uh, incident, and it is not a not a smoke. It is it is dust. If we uh, we we uh, have no water in vulcan, um, form at the stones. But if we have some water, form at the dust. The dust from stones, and why why the dust? Why the dust? Because, because it is the it is the very interesting. Um, we we have melted stone uh, in from which formed the uh, solid stone. And what what the source of this dust? You can see also very interesting example. It is the Prince Rupert drops. Um, it is some model model of vulcan activity. Uh, we melt the glass and very quickly cooling the drops. After that, uh, you can see you can see the result. Very 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 hard glass. You can see, no destruct. But if we if we uh, yes. 
<laughs> if you distract the mm, some part of this of this drop you can see the you can see the dust and it is the it is the surface effect because in in uh, in these drops form the surface layer very thin with uh, thickness approximately mm, uh, 500 micrometers in which we have in which we have um, stretched 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 layer and uh, in the middle of the drops we have compressed glass and this uh, unique this unique situation lead to the uh, very very higher influence of the surface layer to the properties of such of such glass um, it is the very important that glass it is the amorphous material non-crystalline but stones from lava it is uh, crystalline material so this effect uh, maybe not not uh, corresponded to the crystalline structure of the material so it is also very uh, very uh, important um, for uh, for this problem that surface surface effects determine not only the stressness, uh, the plastic deformation, the interaction with environment, but also we can calculate the properties. For example, steel, if we um, if we know the surface tension, uh, surface tension energy, and uh, here you can see the mm, diagram from one of our publication about this question. I, unfortunately, I have no time for more, more long discussion about this. Here also, also you can see. Запустите, пожалуйста. Запустите, пожалуйста, презентацию. Now, excuse me. <coughs> Here, uh, here you can see also the influence of skin effect or surface effect to the properties of materials. Uh, in the in the uh, in this part of uh, the um, slide, you can see the changing in strain stress curve uh, after the saturation of the of the hydrogen, and uh, this saturation change the properties only surface layer it is the some mm, some sort of the skin effect so we have we have very very powerful very powerful effect and the area excuse me and the area of this effect it is the area non uh, non uh, rigid deformation it is the area of plastic deformation in strain the strain stress curve and uh, we can ask uh, himself what what uh, the importance of this area uh, but uh, before the destruction all uh, rigid body uh, has uh, has uh, some plastic deformation so destruction without the surface effect uh, cannot be described from fundamental fundamental position and it is the it is the very important problem uh, modern modern uh, engineering science and modern mechanics why because um, during last approximately um, 40 40 years all engineering application up to yield uh, yield limit stress. Uh, practically, the um, rigid um, rigid part of strain stress diagram well known, and we have no any problem in this part. All our problem, all problem of industry and real engineering application, concentrated in the. Uh, plastic deformation and destruction part 
plastic deformation and destruction part of this curve. So we have important problem and uh, in, in very, uh, very important part of engineering practice, uh, industry and uh, uh, industry needing in some methodics for calculation, for example, the resource the resource of pipelines, the resource of bridges, the resource of parts of engines, and so on. And uh, um, as, I, as I say, I cannot, I cannot, um, I cannot solve this problem. I, I cannot present the solution of this problem. And it is, it was the idea of my presentation. We have a problem and we have no fundamental solution. Uh, what possible theories uh, that uh, applicate uh, or <laughs> are applicating now in uh, the description of uh, such effects? The first, it is the dislocation theory. Excuse me, dislocation theory. And um, very interesting that this theory can describe all effects without any problem. But predictable ability of this theory is very low because we cannot know about the initial concentration of dislocation. And uh, um, you can see that uh, surface layer effect um, can be not only in crystalline, uh, materials such as metal or stones, but in non-crystalline, in amorphous. And what is dislocation in glass, for example? It is, it is, uh, it is the problem of this theory. So the uh, next uh, in in next in in years, uh, next in years theory. It is the gradient theory of continuous media, and I think it may be applicable for solution of such problem, but we have only one, one um, problem in, in with this theory. Many, many parameters that can be fitting after experiment. So uh, in, in this ca a case, we cannot determine, for example, the critical stresses uh, so simple as in rigid region. We, we, mu we must know the Jung modulus, uh, the yield stress, for example, and maybe two or one coefficient, and we can calculate the critical stress. And uh, during we uh, during we um, applicate the gradient theory, we must know known, um, for example, twenty. 26 parameters uh, for calculation. And fitting of these parameters from real experiment, it is the problem. Uh, the, green, the green part of uh, possible theories, it is the theories in which we have uh, some, some experience. And uh, unfortunately, I have no time for description, the real results in this theory. But, but for example, for example, damage theory of continuous media very well describe very well describe the acousta elasticity in um, damaged solid, and um, we we have a very well uh, approximation experiment with damage theory, but uh, but application this theory with uh, in, into the real calculation, for example, the um, stress strength state and and so on don't uh, don't have such good uh, approximation with real experiment uh, the uh, the second our experience it is the Coserat continuous media and uh, professor Vilchevska and um, uh, magister the Ksenia Fralova that take part in our conference have uh, experience with uh, Coserat uh, continue application to surface layer description. 
Um, and here we have also the problem uh, fitting, fitting many parameters. And practically, uh, we, can, we can have maybe tens, tens of parameters for application of this theory in full scale. For example, in 3D uh, solid body with surface layer. And uh, the, third, the third possible theory is that is, uh, it is the theory of nonlinear waves in continuous media. Uh, the Professor Porubov um, and I have uh, experience in such theory. And also we have the same problem. Non-physical non -physical mechanism mm, mechanism um, of the influence and we have only the approximation with many fit fitting parameters and I, and I think it is the very important problem of of modern mechanic and and I would like to ask uh, all participants and uh, ask some discussion about the solution of this problem. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Professor Polanski. So we have, okay, we have <coughs> some time for questions. So le let me start. Uh, uh, you have shown very impressive experiments with uh, ultrasonic treatment of metals. So wha what is the mechanism of increasing strength? No. So why it increases so Eba well? about About this mechanism, there are many, many different opinions. For example, the creator of short pinning uh, uh, apparatus that work in Patton Institute and after that work in Canada, uh, um, show that uh, the uh, residual stress in world, uh, in world decrease in, in, in approximately 10 times. Mm -hmm. And it is the uh, nature of influence of such treatment. But, but we show that not residual strength, uh, strength but concentration of diffusion mobile hydrogen that, uh, that as well known lead to cooled cracking of the world decrease in four times. Mm. The Japanese, the Japanese scientist um, investigate the microstructure of metal under this surface treatment mm -hmm. and um, make the conclusion that uh, uh, this very homogeneous, after, after such tri treatment, very homogeneous structure. But, but influence of the treatment is the approximately 50 micrometers. It is the standard standard depths of the surface layer that influence for all properties, for all properties. For example, we, we can have the simple with diameter 20 millimeters and 60 micrometers uh, surface layer decrease the strength of these symbols in two time, for example. And mm -hmm. very strong, very strong influence, but volume of this layer very small. And we need in some description as as mechanics we need in some description such great influence mm -hmm. we have some idea but we we have no any approaches fundamental approaches because in in my opinion we must calculate very great uh, very great stresses in interface among the surface layer and uh, the middle part of, of, of metal, or metal or non-metal, as, as you can see. Mm -hmm. OK, yes, thank you very much. Yes, please. Uh, uh, Vladimir Anatolyevich, thank you very much. Very, uh, really very uh, impressive and interesting lecture. My question is, uh, one of the great problems is hydrogen embrittlement. And uh, can you comment about the uh, importance o o also of the uh, skin effects in this case? Uh, in hydrogen embrittlement, uh, there are paradoxical situation. Uh, 150 years of investigation lead to standard method of, uh, of determination, for example, the, um, the cracking of metal in hydrogen environment. And 
we have uh, standard approaches for testing, for industrial testing. And as, as we investigate, uh, this, uh, this, all these methods lead to uh, creation uh, surface layer with very, very high concentration of hydrogen. So the cracking, not, uh, not uh, hydrogen cracking, it is the cracking due to form at the surface layer, as, as Rupert drops, for example, Prince Rupert drops. And it is, it is the very interesting situation. All industry, many, many millions of dollars for testing. And uh, this testing leads to investigation of surface layer. But, but as in practice, in practice we have dual situation. If we have uh, for example, gaze environment, as in gaze pipeline or hydrogen gaze pipeline. Uh, we have non-surface layer creation situation. Uh, the hydrogen diffuse into the middle part of metal, and we have classical hydrogen embrittlement process. And if we have corrosion process, it may be a stress corrosion due to a natural gaze. Uh, gas, or it may be corrosion in aggressive environment. We have uh, surface layer that form it during the corrosion pro uh, process, and standard, uh, standard industrial testing very well approximate this situation. So for gas pipeline, it don't applicable, and for another situation, for example, uh, corrosion process, stress corrosion process, with water, uh, hydrocarbon, acetin, and so on. It is applicable, and um, industry must solve this problem, I think, is short in, in, in short time, because now you can see the hydrogen energetic lead to the mixing the gases, the hydrogen plus gas, uh, natural gas, for example. And in this mixture, there are many problems because non-format the surface layer. This surface layer non-format. Uh, in, uh, in common situation, this surface layer has some barrier for diffusion of hydrogen and uh, propagation of corrosion process in the middle part of metal. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so any, any further questions? Yes, please. It is, uh, it, is the, the, it is the very high productivity <coughs> uh, for weld. It is the very well-known method, and we uh, take part in experiment. Uh, for example, uh, the treatment uh, ultra uh, ultrasonic short pinning, the treatment the weld um, uh, after, for example, uh, two years of exploitation, and uh, we have practically. Increasing, increasing the stressness, for example, or fatigue properties in two, four, ten, ten times. We, 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 we treat the very, very the surface treat, very thin area of surface, and this uh, treatment leads to uh, great effect. Oh, it is, it is the minutes. It is the, maybe for, for time, it is the minutes of treatment. Maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It is the hand, uh, hand tools, you can see, hand tools. The people um, taking the hand and mm, short pin the, the, the surface. Oh, uh, I think it is, it is the very, uh, very, um, it is not applicable because um, gas pipe surface. <laughs> Square kilometers. <laughs> it, it is only for weld. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much, Professor Polanski. Thank you.